Okay, we own it up with you. Once again, I am the one and only Matthew J. Glasper Sr. Founder and organizer of Holy Take Karate. The word holy means complete, full, whole. Everything to survive. I train like and teach like a mechanical. What doesn't, what doesn't fix, I create something that'll fix it to make it work. There's no end to technique. It's just like an automobile. There's no end to a greater automobile. So, we'll be working out 50, well, similar of what 70 had, but we're going to go a little hit harder than 70. Now, for martial artists, I'm going to close out with something just in case you want, you're in your 50 and you want to use this card at all. I don't want you to get cheated out. I'm going to close out to add it, a little something in there for you. But if you're not into martial arts, you don't have to do it. If you do do it, it will help you and it will help your health and it will help burn up that extra fat cell, the extra fat cell that you don't need running around in your blood cell. Now, once you retire and you ain't doing nothing, your body starts decaying because you're not burning up all the extra poison that you're putting in your system. So it began decaying. So in other words, your body's aging faster. You have to stay active as long as there's breath in your body. The day you stop being active, you're going the other way. It's decaying. Your body's decaying. Your skin is flat and your neck is look like a, a goose neck. You're dying faster. So you need to stay active. Unless it doesn't matter. If it doesn't matter, then don't worry about it. But if it does, then you can make a change. It's up to you. Now, as I said before, drink your water. Once again, take your vitamin. Once again, get you some protein powder. The chicken the turkey, the beef, it's not going to be enough. Why? Because the nutrition level that should be in it is no longer there. It's not there anymore to do your body any good at the level that it should. So you're going to have to get some protein powder. Otherwise, every day after workout, every morning, you're going to you feel like doing it. But if you get the protein powder, you will feel the strength right away. Within three to six, then you will feel the difference. I promise you. You will feel the difference. But if you don't, it's going to be hard. It's going to be harder on you. And it's going to be worse. To exercise without putting in your body what you need, your body age faster. You tear down your body. If you put in your body what it needs, your body gets stronger, 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 stronger. It's not according to age, but according to your health, it will continue to get stronger. But if you exercise and begin to really push, and you're not putting proper nutrition in your body, your body goes back the other way. Opposite. It's age. You might look decent on the outside, and you got bad knees, you got bad hips, you got bad shoulders, one eye, you're not able to see out as, as good as you used to. Why? You burning it up by working out. You use enough more than what you need. You both have a, a full tank of gas. You got a half a tank of gas and you try to get a full tank of work out of it. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I tell you this because I know, not because what the doctor said, because what I have lived and done it to my own body and had to rebound and take another look. And real knowledge of what I knew that was in me, I had to rebuild my body and had to go back to God to God and talk to him so he can re explain to me what I'm doing wrong that was threw me so far off course. I got caught up trying to help other people who weren't helping myself. Let's go. Now, 50. We ain't got no five. We got 20s. We got 20 in each hand. Now. We got a bench in front of us, we're going to be stepping up on. We're going to rotate the legs. We got 20, we're going to be curved. We got a seat behind us, we're going to be sitting. Every time we hit that seat, we're going to knock out 25. 
Okay? You might struggle a little bit because you've been on your little retirement. You ain't been eating right. You think you've been eating right. You got a big gut now that you ain't used to have when you used to work at 5 to 9 or the 8 to 3 or the 7 to 3, whichever one. But you're not there no more. Okay. We're going to start with the left hand and go to the right. We, every time we hit the right, that's going to be one. Okay? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Very good. We're stepping up. We're going to step. Use the right leg now. We want to step to the seven. We don't want to be out here near the edge. That, that bench will flip over now. Okay? Let's step. One. Alternating leg. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good. Back to the hand. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Very good. Back up. Sit. You're going to take your hand. It's 20. You're going to place it to the side. If you're a curler, and you're a power curler, I want you to bring it to the front. If you're not a curler, first time picking up 20, or you're just a little out of shape, keep it to the side, and once in a while, you'll bring them to the front, okay? We're standing up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Number one, Two, three, four, one and five. Very good. Very good. Now we're going to step up with the twins once again. We're going to put the twins down. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Very good. Very good. I'm going to drop the 20. Now, this is a little add on. If you're home, you're not a martial artist. You don't have to do this drill. This is just added in. This is for my martial artists. You got three pounds. You're on the bag. One. Notice the pivot. Hands up. The hook punch. Two. Three. Here. Notice how I turn how the way. Most boxes use only their shoulders. And that's where you find a lot of boxers end up with that bad knee because they're going to turn their leg over. Got to turn with it. That maximum power will come from the ground, not from your shoulder, not from your hand, from your feet. Pushing out on the ground. Turn. 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 And turn. Turn. And turn. Turn and turn. Elbow higher than the fist. Don't hook upward. You hook downward. That way, when he ducks, he ducks right down. Good. I get him right in the temple. Down. Hooking downwardly, not upwardly. You want to bring him down. So you work the body. Tap him in the rear, he come down to bring his elbow to protect his rear. That's when you go up and down. Turn that feet. Turn it all the way so you can push out. You want to push forward in that hook punch. If you want to do it with a snap, you don't want to be robotically. One, two, three. Turn. Snap it out. Now, whenever you jab, a lot of guys, they rotate under and rotate right back. I never understood why boxers talk that. They go down and rotate right back and hook punch. I still don't understand that. Now, my way is this. You jab, you rotate under, and you swing, you go to the outside. Hook. You through, you rotate back to the other side. You never come back in front of the man. Why? If he got life, he should knock the crap out of you. If he got life, he should knock you out. You just stood right back up in front of him after you hit it. That's just like I, I bullet punch a guy on the street. I hit him, bam, he's still standing. I'm still standing in front of him. He's supposed to take my head off. You understand? Okay. When I jab, I'm going here. To the outside of him. Bam! Because now I loaded with a right hand. He's still facing this way. His focus is this way. Now he got to turn to me. Turn it to me, give me a perfect angle for a right hand. The same thing. The softball. I jab, I step over. I step over. I'm gonna deliver a hook directly to the center of his chin, not to the outside. 
but to the center. I hook to the center, bam. Now come back, I'm throwing a right hand right to his ears. Bam. But I never come back up in front. I'm always going back to the outside. First degree, second degree, third degree. That's whole American tape teaching. Okay? But there's 11 more degrees. And you have to see me if you want them. For I am the one and only. Matthew Jane Glasper, Sing. Found the Holy Tate Karate in Jesus' name. I thank you. Talk to you later. Next time, I'll be coming back at you. Seven days later, with a cardio for all the supermen that think they got it. God bless you.